This is CNN Breaking News. We're continuing to follow the breaking news. The uh, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair. 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 Finally has been caught after being on the run for more than 10 years. He's an accused war criminal. Let's discuss with Richard Holbrook, the former U.S. ambassador. Eggs and shoes were also thrown at the former prime minister. And our main story here on BBC World News and the world's most wanted man has been tracked down. Tony Blair, George W. Bush's most visible foreign partner on the war. And he has suffered the consequences for it. But this guy, in my view, is worse than Milosevic or General Milotic. He was the intellectual leader. So what do you want? What do you want to happen to him right now? He's well, going to go. He's going to go on trial. He well, it is a big issue. You said he was an alleged war criminal. He hasn't been trial. convicted yet. He hasn't been convicted, but he's an accused war criminal, and he is indicted in the Hague. Do you turn him over to the Hague as they did with Milosevic? What do you want? I'd like him to go to the Hague I'd for a long so year. That could take years. That trial, as we saw, uh, 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 as we saw. Once he goes to the Hague, he's not getting out again. That would be the end of that. Honestly, to create stability. This isn't some historic event. This is, I mean, ancient event. This is a ongoing event of historic importance. All right. Well, thanks for your perspective. I know you're a very happy man today. Well, you cover.